Hey everybody, I'm Rich from bradandrich.com and uh, well Brad did some tutorials about uh, changing your MAC address and I think I'll do one about you know finding out MAC addresses and uh, other stuff that you might want to know about people on your network. So what we're going to need for this is you're going to want to go to nmap.org and go to their download links and you're going to go to, I'm assuming most people have Windows, pick up your Windows binary here and download the latest stable command line zip file. So we're just going to download that. You know, I already have it, so download it, let it install, and uh, you should be good to go there. Oh, um, one last point is that if you really want to, if you want to use this, you also need to download a program called WinPCAP, so you can actually use Nmap. Nmap requires WinPCAP. Well, now that we got all that there, let's open up a few command prompts. So, you know, start run, command, Type that in. I'll get two up. Just make things easier to see. I guess I could have done Shift R too. All right. So I'm on my network here, and uh, hopefully you know the IP config command. Most people do. It's a pretty handy one for seeing all your network stuff. Here I am. I got all my different. I got a bunch of different. Mm, bunch of different network connections. Stuff like. Uh, all right. So here we go. The Ethernet adapter local area connection, my main connection. Here's my IP address. So my IP address on the network is 192.168.1.105. So that mask, and there's my gateway, 192.168.1.1. Like most people's gateways, it's just a Motorola, uh, Motorola surfboard hooked up to a Linksys, Linksys router. Anyway, those are, you know, that's your IP address. So I know my IP address. What about everyone else on the network? That's where Nmap comes in. Nmap is a port scanning, port detection, sort of like a network detection tool. It'll tell you a lot of things about about a network and the computers on the network. So it's as simple as it's a command line thing, so there's no no graphical stuff. Just go and you can, after you install it, type in Nmap, and you'll get a list of things you can do. So, you know, the most common th ones are to just kind of list targets to scan or, you know, just uh, just ping the targets to see who's online. We'll do that soon. Where's the one that I like? Uh, hmm. All right, dash O. So anyway, I know my IP. It's 192.168.1.105. So I'll do nmap dash scan ping, which means we're going to ping people. And when you ping someone, you see if they're online or not. Ping. And then I'm going to do 192.168.1. Asterisk. So the thing is, I don't know anyone else's IP address on my network. So I know mine is 192.168.1. And typically in a network, they're going to be numbered fairly consecutively. They're all so only those last three digits are going to change on any of the computers in my network. And what that asterisk does is it tells Nmap to, hey, when you scan, just you know make sure to scan everything. And you could actually, you know, you could put that asterisk, yeah, you could put it here, but I don't have all, f all day to scan for stuff on pretty much every IP around here. So if you let that run quick, starts up. Runs about pretty quick here. Boom, there we go. We got 192.168.1.1, which you've, if you remember from here is my default gateway, so that's my router. Uh, 192.168.120, that's somebody. Uh, 191.101 appears to be up. Uh, I'm mistaken, yeah, this is the modem. This, I think, is the router. Whatever. This is me, as you can see here, 101, 105. And so 101 is somebody of interest. So now you can do nmap dash O and then... 192.168.1.10. There's sorry. Oof. Always get confused. 101. Yeah, we'll do 101. Here we go. So what the dash O did is, if you remember from up here, is it enables OS detection. So it tries tries and tells you, you know, it tries to tell you what what operating system this computer is running. And it's not the greatest thing, but 
it's pretty good. So what we get here are a list of some of the you know open sort of open ports. So basic ports, Microsoft, Net, uh, NetBIOS. I don't know what SSN. Anyway, just a few open ports. Not many are open on that computer. You get its MAC address, and it's an Intel MAC address, which that computer is not. But oh well, can't always be perfect. And uh, running Microsoft Windows XP Service Pack 2, which is honestly close enough. It's XP Service Pack 3. So there you go. You got a host, you scanned it, and you know what ports are open and uh, what kind of OS it's sort of rocking there. See if there's anything else sort of interesting. I can run for you here. Try dash R. Make sure to scan all the ports. Hopefully this one will give us some more ports, because typically with hacking, it's good to know, you know, what, what ports are open. Because a lot of hacks, you know, certain ports will be open for certain things. Um, you know, Samba servers, SMB, SMTP for mail, God knows what else. You know, I th those are the common ones. RDP port, if that's open, I think it'll, it might show. Uh, none of that, you know, none of that stuff is, that most of that stuff's on a server, not on just a, a home comp. But there you go. Pretty simple little tutorial of Nmap and how to just get started and get looking at the computers on your network and uh, just get scanning for stuff. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, hopefully there'll be more to come soon. See ya.